Hey, what's going on everybody? Well, I decided to do some treasure hunting the other day and fortunately I came across some really awesome items and I want to share them with you today on this video. I went to some thrift shops the other day and usually I find nothing at thrift shops. Either the, the flippers get there beforehand or the people that work there give, you know, give the hookup to friends and people that they know and so it's really hard to find things actually on the shelf without, you know, knowing somebody uh, that works there or can, you know, hook you up, whatever. Well, went into two different thrift shops and I scored twice. It was amazing. So let me show you first the uh, two items I got out of one shop. Uh, this was a thrift shop in uh, in Houston here, of course. Now I found two puzzles and these look like they're in pretty good shape. At least the boxes do. Okay, so check this out. I have two Star Wars jigsaw puzzles and these are original. Okay, these are original from, if you can see there, hopefully it'll zoom in correctly. These are from 1977, okay? These are 100% original. You have Luke Skywalker there on Tatooine. It's a 500 piece puzzle, so take me a little bit to build that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's uh, complete, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. Uh, the box shows a little bit of wear, okay? It's over, hello, it's like 40 years old almost. Um, so, or it is 40 years old, so uh, they did unfortunately, you know, tape it shut to make sure you know, the pieces stayed in. Uh, but you can see here, uh, all right, there's all the uh, pieces there, hopefully. I uh, hope there's all 500 in here. Looks like it, okay, it looks pretty full, but that's one item right there. Found that, so it's Star Wars, Luke Skywalker on the front, and then the second puzzle I found there is another one, Star Wars Jigsaw Puzzle. And this one's also a 500 piece one. You got uh, Luke and Leia there when they're about to swing across the, the bridge on the Death Star trying to escape from the stormtroopers. Yeah, it even says down here, uh, Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia leap for their lives. <laughs> uh, did this one have, yeah, this one had something on it. Let's show you that. So on the very bottom here, it says, uh, there you go, Luke Skywalker. That's all it says. So it's, but it's when he's uh, staring off into the sky at the double moons. Yeah, it was right after he uh, got 3PO and R2-D2 to come stay with him. Hopefully, of course, these are complete. Now, there you have it. Okay, I'm not going to believe this. For these two guys here, I got uh, for five bucks. So that was the first thrift shop I stopped at, and I got two original 77 Star Wars puzzles. That was awesome. I went down the road to another thrift shop, and I found this. This is a original... Let's see, does it have a date on it? Yes, this is an original 1991 WWF Hulk Hogan coloring book. Okay, you can see there, WWF, WWF presents. You got Hulk Hogan, the immortal Hulk Hogan there on the front. On the back here, it tells you what kind of characters are in there. You got the tag team superstars. Uh, you got the Hulkster, Ultimate Warrior, WWF superstars, Ultimate Warrior, Wildfire. And here's the uh, look. There you see, there's Hogan battling Earthquake. There's uh, uh, there's Tugboat, Ultimate Warrior. You got the Warlord, Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. And now, this actually only cost me a quarter. That's pretty amazing, considering 1991, Hulk Hogan on the cover, WWF uh, coloring book. The reason they only charged me a quarter, okay, first of all, look, it was $1.29 when this came out originally. But the reason it was only a quarter is... You open up the first page and you see there's Hulk Hogan. Okay, there's the copyright, and it even says 1991 down there. But it, right here, somebody whoever owned it already colored in the front. You have Hogan there. You got yellow, red, and blue uh, crayon coloring on there. But the rest of the book is clean. Like the, all the rest of the book is clean. That's pretty crazy, huh? So, yeah. So pretty good condition considering. Okay, and again, I paid a quarter. So there you have it. So for $5.25, I got these awesome treasures on my uh, treasure hunting just a day or so ago. So pretty awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy to have the Star Wars ones. I had a couple of these Star Wars puzzles when I was a kid. Unfortunately, we had a lot of things get lost in the move whenever we would move a lot. And therefore, I don't know if I even have them anymore. Also, some of my uh, items when I, from when I was a kid, especially puzzles, because they're made out of cardboard, of course, uh, things like that would get damaged more easy uh, depending on the weather, depending on the conditions of where we had uh, stuff stored at the time, depending on where we live, whether it's kept out in a storage area or garage or whatever. So I did have a lot of puzzle stuff that I went through only a few years ago and turned out a lot of it got ruined. So 
I'm really happy to find these and uh, we'll see hopefully they're complete and when I do get the chance to build them I will be posting uh, photos of them on uh, probably on Instagram Twitter so forth so if you want to see if they're complete I'll be posting the uh, completed puzzles on there well there you have it so hey it does still happen sometimes you do come across treasures it just you know it takes uh, commitment and just got to be patient you never know when you're going to find something awesome so yeah, so just wanted to share the uh, few items I found, but I'm very happy. And hey, again, I paid, what, five bucks and a quarter, so can't beat that. All right, guys, gals, thanks for watching as always. I'll see you next time on the next Treasure Hunt unveiling. Uh, stay tuned for more. All right, take it easy, and I'll see you next time. Pop Culture Junkie, signing out.